Uh, I, I, I can get you. Uh, 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 no, no, not this. Uh, I, I got hundred buns for, uh, for you. Don't worry about all that. We we can we can eat good. You can you can stay with me. Come on out. Stay with EDP for tonight. What's going on, y'all? Grind all the way back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today, man, we have an update on an old friend, man. Your boy EDP45 is back in these news, these YouTube streets again, man. And uh, it's not looking good. It just seems to just keep on getting worse and worse and worse and worse, man. Last time, they said about you got evicted. This time, it's I think they got more. I think it said something about him possibly going to jail, going to prison, one of them. But uh, this is by a YouTuber, I think something V2 or something like that. I'm going to link them down in the description, of course. And the name of the video is a huge new update on EDP45. From bad to worse, man. If you uh if you've been following my channel for a little bit, man, I know like folks like Up Next, So Blasted, Black Light Revelations, everybody, y'all been y'all been seeing me uh you know putting in the 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 EDP four or five videos exposed, man. Um, and he he actually got one of my videos took down for cyberbullying. He's so goddamn lame, man. You a big ass channel and you couldn't take that. I, I mean, I did crush him, and the skit probably had him mad too. Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, so, uh, well, I wanted to watch some of those movies that you were talking about, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's do that. Huh, well, Brian, what do you know, we're back again. Oh, so, uh. But, uh, yeah, why would you take it down? I hadn't had, I hadn't had that many subs at that point. And then, uh. Yeah, man, uh, the rest of the videos were way worse, so I just, I just went ahead and made them private, man. Maybe I'll, uh. Maybe I'll share them again briefly in the future, man. But let's go ahead and get into the video and see what's going on here. What is the new update? Let's go. EDP 445 has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks. Hold up. Evidence of EDP 45 applying to a Chuck E. Cheese? What the hell? He's so... Why would you apply to a Chuck E. Cheese after you got caught down bad doing what you were doing, man? Come on, man as a result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. He's apparently completely out of money and as a result has been evicted from a few different properties and he's now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. Damn. However, the craziest update in the EDP 445 tragedy is that only three weeks ago, according to one of his former YouTube buddies by the name of Felipe, the big man himself has actually been put behind bars. This Whoa. is the uh, Henderson Nevada Detention Center inmate Brian Morland would like to receive the call. And I said, I said, yes. Things have gotten so bad for EDP that right now, as we speak, he's applying to have his name legally changed. However, in a world of tip. Damn, man. What do you guys think about that, man? If uh, if somebody, I guess, gets caught doing uh, P-file type stuff, I mean, of course, obviously, they should be put on the, uh, the offenders list and everything like that. But what if they get caught attempting to do the stuff by an amateur sting? Situation should they have the same type of repercussions or should they be like man? You didn't catch them. You didn't catch them. You guys are amateur So you should be able to get away with it. I personally think that uh That, that, that if you are uh, you know, you got caught whether you got caught by an amateur thing or whether you got caught by the real thing I think that it should be looked into and uh, when you are Actually found out to be that I don't think that you should be able to change your name I think you have to live with that stain because you can't go out here being a chameleon and all this kind of stuff. You don't get those privileges of being stealthy once you do some shit like that. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know. People loved him because he was one of the last few YouTubers who had absolutely no filter. He was unconcerned about ad revenue and therefore swore like a trooper while tackling some of the most crass yet hilarious topics. EDP 445's unconventional mind was always spoken honestly. Alright, so, okay, so I'm finally finding out what it is that drew people to his channel because all this time I didn't know. He still doesn't have any, I guess, obvious talent or anything like that, but uh, now I know what draws people to his channel because he was unfiltered. And he just said whatever he what what he wanted to say. And, and remember, I said that earlier in the videos. I thought that that was one of his drawbacks that he just was out here being sloppy and just being his. I guess I guess it would be like uh, the fact that he was he was just being his most unfiltered self and in any way, shape, or form. He wasn't taking care of his body. He was cussing whenever he wanted to, like a sailor. Uh, he say really crazy, unreasonable things. His title to his videos are outrageous, and I guess that's what people really like. They so I, I guess in a way. It was more so they were laughing at him at, as, at like, as like a spectacle more than they were laughing with him. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are probably some big dudes in the basement that were like, Ooh, I want to eat like EDP 4 or 5 and he's like me. We play video games and don't get girls. But uh, I guess I'm now I'm finding out, man. Let's keep going. 
Initially, after hitting 1 million subscribers in early 2020, YouTube refused to send EDP a gold play button, stating that the channel didn't match their eligibility criteria. That is lame, man. Even though EDP sorry as hell for what, what he did, but that, that is lame that, that uh, he didn't have any community guide strikes and they still wouldn't give him his little plaque, man. He could at least be carrying that around in his suitcase, man. Come on, YouTube, man. Give him a momentum or something. What a, a momento, my bad. Let's keep going. Creators who supported him in the past, such as some ordinary gamers, would upload a video titled EDP 445 needs to be arrested so, immediately. Why is EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was revealed that a similar situation had occurred as many as eight times prior, many considered EDP unforgivable and his life would subsequently descend into a state of chaos. What you might That's crazy, man. So I originally thought that he had only gotten caught three times and I thought that was terrible, but they're saying eight times prior? So he got caught eight times prior doing some shit like this. It's no wonder he's been kicked to the curb by YouTube and Twitter and all these other guys, man. Because, yeah, that's, that's way too many times for somebody to, to get caught, even if it was an amateur thing, bro. Like, that's enough to let you know, like, bro, you really are out here doing what they say you're doing. One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 445 no longer deserved either his celebrity status or any kind of record relating to any of his work completed in the past. Another method that EDP had for earning an online income was Cameo. You could order a personalized video and get EDP to say anything you instructed him to for the low price of $44. However, following the infamous cupcake event, Cameo would be contacted by numerous individuals who would receive responses along the lines of, hey there, thank you for reaching out. Our team is aware of the allegations and are actively investigating this. Thank you for bringing it to our attention, kindly Melita. Less than a week later, EDP 445's Cameo account was deleted. Another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP 445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers, he'd be banned from the platform. It was the same story over on Instagram. His main account was terminated, at which point EDP was likely coming to terms with the harsh reality of his cancellation. However, just before his Facebook was deleted, he'd make one final interesting announcement. He planned on making his own website to which he will continue posting videos. EDP445 announced over on Facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website to return to his old video type, I guess. Just want to let you guys know, man, EDP445.com um, is coming soon. Been, been about like a week, maybe two weeks from now. EDP445 seemingly got to the point of fully building the website, as discussed by Tipster here on YouTube. It still says coming soon, still says today's date. It does look like EDP is actually serious about this whole launching a website thing. However, after an apparent falling out with his website developer, as mentioned in a Reddit comment, the launch seemed to fail. Update, the website is now returning at error 500. So it looks like he's been having a little bit of trouble launching the site. Hasn't been working so well for him. And to this day, the page remains as an unlaunched, inactive mm. website. In spite of how much of a scumbag EDP 445 truly was, you have to give him credit for sheer determination because he then began to upload videos on another third party website called 3Speak TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. He wrote, For some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. I didn't violate any guidelines. <laughs> please tell me what's going on. EDP. After this ban, it seemed as though EDP. Man. I've said this in previous videos before, man. I, I think that EDP's, EDP's talent pool is very, uh, very limited. Obviously, we see what he does. He's uh, he, he sloppy, out of shape, and uh, you know he, he eats burgers and talks about sports and, and curses the whole time and says outrageous things about, I guess, uh, kids and doing stuff to this and yeah, and, yeah. I mean, but uh, I, you know, it's, it's like it's like why didn't you take the time? to learn some extra skills. Like they're, they're, like the fact that you relied so heavily on somebody to build your website, you, you made, you've you probably made millions of dollars off of YouTube with your huge following over 10 plus years of, of YouTube. I'm pretty sure you've made some solid money. He didn't, he didn't do anything to improve himself. I don't know if he bought any real estate. Uh, I don't know if he went and got any businesses. He obviously didn't. Uh, I mean, he talks about the Eagles all the time. He didn't try to get any stake into that. Um, you never tried to lose weight. Uh, you n yeah, you just you just didn't make any type of improvements. You didn't learn anything extra on the side. All you did was curse and just be gluttonous and and just be untactful with everything. And you just you just thought that was gonna go on for the rest of your life. I guess everything everything comes to an end. Everything has a you know a, a, a season. So I guess keep that in mind, man. And always be trying to uh, 
to, you know, to, I guess, build your talents up. And if you do fall into some money, then you have to be smart with it. You shouldn't be out here spending it on frivolous crap. I mean, I like shoes and everything. I spend money on shoes here and there. But, I mean, I do know that at the same time, if I get some, some real money, I need to go and put it into this for something that will actually be an asset, not a liability. Let's go. Before Fly was slowly getting the message from each and every website, his career on the internet was finished. However, the internet wasn't finished with ending his career. Rich from Review Tech USA would state that he might be able to get a job working somewhere like Starbucks. However, mm. it was only going to be so long before the trolls would come and inform them of his past. Right. But I don't even know if you can get a damn job at Starbucks and keep it because you know the trolls are going to come after you the and trolls. say, oh yeah, that guy you just hired, I wouldn't keep him employed. You'd probably lose a job at that coffee shop too real quick. I keep always come through there and I get them right with the snacks and they snacks. I love keeping it keeping it clean. Well, man, how you you sound like you know you're talking about any snacks now? That is EDP. I just Google stop him. Call the police. police. Rich would be correct in this statement. EDP 445 moved from Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada following the expose where it seemed as though he managed to land a job as a lift driver mm. in October 2021. However, this job would be fairly short-lived as a video posted to TikTok by a user called Lennon Jimenez would expose EDP 445's lift profile. Bro went from wanting cupcakes to driving for lift. And his position wow. as a driver would subsequently be removed by the company. The situation would promote Reddit discussion with one post stating EDP as a lift driver, how the mighty have fallen which received comments such as can you take me to the grocery store i'm gonna go buy some cupcakes Damn. and i hope he doesn't get on any food delivery apps mf would eat my fries and i'd have missing slices of pizza However, somewhat hilariously it was revealed shortly thereafter that edp had in fact been driving for both uber eats and grubhub which would also both fire him after finding out about the drama i don't know what he expected man like when you get caught up doing something like this and you have the following that you have you couldn't expect people not to know who you are and in second you can't expect people to to show mercy on you you there's no there's no way that I would allow if I had a kid that's going to school you know some parents are stupid and they'll and they'll take their kids and just send them send them off to Lyfts or Ubers by themselves there's no way that I would trust my kid going with EDP you can't you shouldn't be trusting your kid just going with no Uber driver period by yourself by themselves but uh yeah man just just uh, EDP driving your son around driving your uh, not your son man. I mean driving your, your teenage daughters around or whoever yeah that's a no go man. Yeah, Uber and Lyft gives gives somebody like EDP way too much freedom. And again, this uh, Lyft and Uber are, are great side hustles, but they are not jobs that require talent. Why? Why is somebody on uh, EDP's level? Why? Why? Why did they not acquire any new any new talents? Why are you having to rely on Uber and Lyft, EDP? Why don't you have several properties? Why don't you have several businesses? I mean, I can see if your businesses got shut down. I mean, you can't shut down a property. Come on, man. You got to do a little. You got to, you know, just, just make sure y'all are smart when you, uh, when you get your money, though. Let's go. Unconfirmed source. EDP also apparently applied at Chuck E. Cheese, but for obvious reasons, didn't Stupid. seem to get the position. On, EDP 445 no longer had the ability to make money online or in real life as this reveal. The application shown on screen states that Brian Morland applied for a name change with the Nevada County Court on the 21st of October 2021. The strange part about this is that when you try and search the court register from the Reddit post by typing in his name, Brian Morland, it now states that there are no results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer known as Brian Morland. As you can see, I did type in his name, Morland Bryant. Submit. No results found. However, the problem with this, as outlined by the ADP 445 subreddit, is that he's not exactly hard to spot. This right. idiot thinks this will fix anything, Lameo. He'll be spotted everywhere no matter his name. He should flee to Cuba or something like this. Changing his name isn't a good idea since it's gonna get leaked anyways. What good does changing a name do when you're as easily recognizable as him, lol? He needs to lose hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant. Perhaps the goal is to have his name hidden. That's so real, man. Like, like again, you did not work on any self-improvement throughout this whole time where you had nothing but leisure time and extra money that everybody else didn't have but you had it and you just you you squandered it come on bro like and, and yeah and i like us and i've said it before too man like yeah you before you try to get back on youtube and make a new 
internet uh, website and everything like that, why haven't you self-improved yourself? Why haven't you sat back and I guess maybe got some therapy, I guess for the whole P-File thing or learn how to talk better where people will be able to take in what you say a little better and uh, lose weight and you'll be more presentable and be more respectable. I think it's more respectable when you're when you're in shape versus when you're just a big blob running around here talking trash and stuff. Like everybody's looking at you just like a sloppy, nothingless person because that's essentially what you are. Like just yeah, like yeah, man. You need to go through a whole revamping of your whole life before you go out here and yeah, before you resurface. You just want to change your name and you think you're good. You yeah, you gotta lose hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant, bro. You said you didn't even spend the money on that. That's how much you don't care about your appearance. Let's go. Long enough in order to get a job, as other sources state that he's been unsurprisingly struggling with money. He's broke. Like YouTube made him money, but after having that. He got it broke real quick. A user by the name of Master at Work, who was one of the people trying to expose EDP all the way back in 2020, stated in October that EDP had less than $3,300 cash left in his account, plus two cars and a couple of other things that he might be able to sell. The only income that he has, other than the 3300 that he has left in his bank account, is maybe the forty grand in weapons and the two cars that he owns. However, in the two months since October, users on Reddit used his car's license plate to confirm that EDP 445 has sold one of his cars, possibly indicating that his cash stack has dwindled even further. In the same live stream during which Master at Work would discuss EDP's financial situation, it also mentioned that EDP had been evicted from his apartment complex as the property owner received numerous complaints about having him as a tenant. <laughs> Call Damn. up Spur Apartments and verify for yourself. Um, EDP will no longer be living at Spur Apartments. The reason why he got evicted is because of cons constant harassment the property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suit case at various hotels however even then his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens to be staying he's a danger to everyone in here okay, so I damn yeah. i will be more than happy to let them know thank you very much 911 was your emergency hello police what's your emergency there's a fat sloppy homeless man he's harassing a young asian girl out here miss karen is that you calling again come on Where I've been calling you guys for weeks, several different times. Miss Karen, last time you called the police on black guys playing football. You need to get out here now. He's here right now. Calm down, Miss Karen. Get this done. Miss Karen, come on. Oh, oh, what do I pay my tax dollars for? Get it done now. <sighs> EDP's detractors have made his life such a living hell that if anything, an arrest or a short stint in prison would almost make his circumstances more comfortable. We'll preface this part by stating that there have been numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested, yet provided no evidence or reason for the arrest. EDP has been arrested. Today is October 25th. It is 11.30 at night. And EDP has been arrested today. And he was actually arrested today. But I don't know what he was arrested for. This claim clearly lacks credibility. People in the comments requested evidence, to which there seems to be none. However, a former friend of EDP 445 by the name of Felipe claims to have some stronger evidence pertaining to the potential arrest of EDP 445. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd uploaded a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number stating that it was EDP 445 who was being held at the Henderson Nevada Detention Center. So the yeah. third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson Nevada uh, Detention Center inmate for for Brian Moreland. Would you like to receive uh, the call? That's ugly right there, man. So, so EDP confided in this guy so much that this is the first person that he called when he was jammed up in jail, man. And and he outed him like that, man. I mean, but I can't blame him for, for, uh, for outing him because of what he did. And you can't really expect anybody to just sit there and be your friend after you do some bullshit. Nobody should be having to sit there and uh, be associated with you after you do some some sorry shit. That's just the thoughts on it, man. But uh, yeah, what do y'all think about that? Y'all think it was a snaky thing for him to do? Y'all think it was just, hey, man, it's just real, man. I can't, I can't be, uh, I can't be acting like we buddy buddy after what you did. Let's go. And I like hung up, you know, <laughs> and then called again. And the same, the same thing happened, you know, would like to receive a call. So 
I pre I said yes because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see, like, holy sh like, he got arrested, like, like, wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least, and Felipe's character is suspect at best. He ah. only gets views when he talks about ADP 445, and without ADP on the internet to defend himself, anyone can say anything. Additionally, if ADP did successfully change his name in October or November, as mentioned previously, this would prove the story to be fake, as the guy states that it was Bryant Morland on the other end of the phone. Ah. One comment stated, looked up every inmate recording Clark County, which is where Henderson is, Kern County, which is where Bakersfield is, and Manatee County, which is where Bradenton, Florida is, which said that he was connected to online. No Bryant Moreland is in any of those prisons. In the end, it doesn't really matter whether or not he's in actual prison, as it's safe to say that ADP is a man. Alright, let's see what this tweet says. His life is basically a prison now. Sure, he has his freedom, but at what cost? He's basically a hunted man, and that is facts. That is so many facts right there. I mean, I'm going to end the video right there because it's almost over. It only has a couple seconds left. But, uh, yeah, man, he's living in uh, he's, he's, oh, he's a free prison, basically. You walk around everywhere. Everybody knows who you are. Everybody knows what you did. You can't get a job. You can't get a place to live. You can't even get a hotel. What do you do, man? What, uh, what do you guys think are some jobs that EDP could work? Let me know. I, I want your honest... Honest suggestions down in the, in the comments below. What are some jobs that you think EDP could actually get, man? Besides, like, some really, some really dangerous, illegal shit. Like, I guess, like, I don't know. He could sell drugs or something like that. He could sell drugs. Or, uh, I don't know. If he, if he was in shape or some kind of shape, he could be he could be a hit, man. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got for it, man. Uh, do y'all think he changed his name? Do y'all think he actually went to jail? What the guy said at the end... It kind of uh, kind of debunked it because if if uh, EDP supposedly changed his name and you look it up, you don't find his name, and and when you search up his name in each of those prisons, he's not there. Then I think the little white guy was lying. So I just don't know about that, man. Like I said earlier, this is one of those situations where you have all this money and all this leisure time, and you didn't do anything with it. You sat there and you messaged girls. You messaged little girls. When you could have been messaging first off, you had you had you had a following, so you could have messaged some decent looking women. Then uh then secondly you could have been out here getting in shape. You could have got just got like I've been saying earlier, properties and in, in building skills. He didn't know that. And now look where he's at, man. Where do y'all think he should move to? What what what's a country that y'all think he could move to and be okay? He's gonna have to move somewhere that's really, really off the grid and uh I don't know, man. And how long do you guys think it would be before somebody, just, before everybody decides to forgive EDP? And I don't, I don't know if it's ever really going to be forgivable because even if he does move to another country or something like, say he moves to like a third world country where like you know it's kind of lawless or something like that, and he, and he can just kind of run amok and nobody really hears from him for years, then it's like now we're now we're thinking like, hmm, what were you doing throughout that whole time? Did you really improve your mental? Like, maybe you might be in shape or something, like, when you come back. But did you really improve your mental? Probably not. So, I don't know. I don't think he's ever going to really be able to come back from this ever. Ever, 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 ever. But uh, you guys let me know what your what your thoughts are down in the comments below. What should EDP do, what should do with his life? Does he deserve what he's got coming to him? Is he in prison? Is he in jail? Let me know. Shout out to this guy for the video, man. I'm going to link him down in the, in the description below. But uh, if you watched up to this point, thank you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.